Hi guys, Rosie here with another Friday on <clears throat> Transcribers FTM and this week's topic is children, a topic that I really like. Um, well, so I guess I'll just go down the questions. How do I feel about children in general? I love children. Um, definitely not the kind of daycare kindergarten teacher type, uh, but I've always really wanted to have kids. Not always. Uh, scrap that. But um, since I start started having child urges, uh, probably when I was about I don't know seventeen, I really wanted to have kids. Um, uh, probably just one, maybe two. But I um, I don't know. I've always thought I'd be a good mother, and I've always thought that I could give my kids a a really healthy um, life and um, yeah I just I would really like to be a mother um, and I definitely want to be a biological mother I want to give birth to at least one child so um, there's that um, Jack uh, also really wants children he he is very good with kids. I think he's adorable around kids. Um, he very much wants children. He wishes that they could be his biologically, but um, that's not really an option for us. So probably, um, probably what we'll end up doing is um, using a sperm donor, um, an anonymous sperm donor, um, I prefer not to have them in our child's life as much as possible, and, um, as now you can find, you know, any kind of physical description or, you know, SAT score description or anything you want from your sperm donor probably, we would try to find someone who fits Jack's description and background to a certain extent um, so that they're not too too far away from him. Um, so we do see eye to eye on children, we've talked about it a lot um, and we're very sure about what we're going to do in that respect. Uh, probably going to have kids in five or six years, but it depends on what I do after I graduate, and I want to be very much established in my career, whatever that is. Um, let's see. How do I feel about trans guys that choose to carry their own children? Um, I, I don't really, I mean, I don't feel strongly about it. I feel like you know, um, why not if you want to? I, I think that if um, one's definition of a man does not necessarily include a penis, why can it, why does it necessarily exclude ovaries um, and childbearing? I think that that's, you know, um, I, I personally cannot possibly imagine not wanting to have a biological child, and I can completely understand, um, you know, someone's desire to have one. So, um, yeah, so I don't judge that at all. I, you know, support whoever wants to make that decision, or does not want to make that decision. Whatever. Um, when we have children, uh, Jack's identity as a trans man will be clear to them from day one. Hmm, <laughs> which is funny to say because, you know, day one they won't be aware of gender, uh, gender identity, but hopefully. Um, but, um, I am very clear on that they need to always be very, um, not always be very aware of uh, of his being trans, but 
but to always have that a completely unstigmatized issue in their lives. Um, just kind of a fact. Uh, I think that it's very helpful to for the children to develop a uh, fluid concept of gender. And um, so, yeah, that they would be aware of, um, of his identity. I wouldn't say that will that he'll come out to them. I'd say that it would just be something that we talked about and that was not a taboo subject in our house from the time they were born. So um, I don't already have children, so I guess that kind of wraps it up for today. It's kind of short, but uh, overall, you know, uh, I really want to be a mother and Jack really wants to be a father. Um, and for us, although, you know, it does make Jack sad sometimes that he'll never be able to impregnate me, um, in the kind of traditional sense. Um, at the same time, we will have children that are mine biologically, and uh, he'll be their father, or a child, whatever we have, and he'll be their father, so. Um, I guess that's that. Alright. Well, I'll see you all next week on another Friday. Alright, bye.